Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Enigma and you're watching Enigma Inc. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs in Gemini. This is going to be a general reading. Take however this resonates. Feb 15th to 28th. Let's see the messages. Gemini. For more personals, you can always get a personal reading from me on WhatsApp or Instagram. You can even email me for personal readings. They're more accurate. Do follow me on Instagram for daily horoscopes that really, really resonates with many people here. And uh, I'm going to put Feb horoscopes soon on my Instagram. Other remedies and spells, you can get it done from me. If you want to learn 40 plus spiritual white, totally white spells, then you can be a part of my workshop that's coming up from 20th of Feb. There's no time limitation for more details. You can always reach out to me on WhatsApp or Instagram or email. Details are given below. <clears throat> so do follow me on Instagram and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Okay, Gemini, what is coming up? Ooh. Okay, Gemini, why are you feeling like left out or secluded or isolated? I feel some sort of a mental stress going on that you want to come out of. Um, you have dealt with... Um, Dealing with a Scorpio Pisces Cancer, I feel. This person is kind of, you know, uh, breaking your confidence and you're not realizing it. Like a silent, toxic, silent poison. This person is acting like a silent poison for you. <clears throat> because you were in love with them and then they're in love. They're telling you that they love you and all of those things. But you don't want to believe in this person because of their tricks and tactics they've been playing or there could be some other reason let's see what other reasons could be i feel like this person is always interested in what do you do like your work i feel like they're more interested in your pentacles some of you okay but uh, some of you are painters here doing great art skills you have great skills at work whatever you're doing you have great skill you put art and creativity into your work I feel like that is why you are popular in your locality or you're popular on social media for your work. It's, it's total perfection. This person actually, you know, appreciates you, your work. They appreciate your work a lot. Okay, they're crazy about what you do and they find you extremely rich. <laughs> I don't know, maybe Gemini, you have a lot of money and you're in public eye and that your work, you work really hard, not just nine to five, maybe a business person. Nine of Pentacles is like you're doing things for yourself that not many people are confident to do that. So you have a lot of skills for to uplift yourself and grow your life. But when it comes to, you know, trusting this person in love, I feel like you have a lot of stress going on with this. You don't want to continue with this person. Then on the other side, you just, you know, you're stuck on them because they've always been uh, playing into love with uh, convincing words, sugarcoating and all of those things. So you're like, oh my God, I'm stuck on this person. They're like obsessing over me, but not giving me what I want in love, like no respect, taking me for granted when it comes to my feelings and my emotions. That is how you feel. This could be a Capricorn. This person's super obsessed with you. I feel like they're very attracted to you. They say that they love you, but that something is missing in this connection. I don't know what that is. But yeah, I feel like when you are... You know, when you're backing off, that's when this person starts playing victim card and, you know, blames, puts the blame over you. Kind of a narcissistic mentality. I feel like this person always wants your back. They're, like, not confident enough, so they always want their back. But when it comes to them giving you, they have nothing to give you that really solidifies this connection. So you have that kind of missing, but you have the you also have a choice to walk away okay and not take this okay um i do see gemini uh it's affecting your work this person thoughts of this person on and off actions of this person or some sort of a manipulation mind games that they're playing i feel like there's this lot of physical attraction but when it comes to emotional bond it's missing the ten of swords is like you want to end this but then you have linked this person with your work maybe i, I don't know maybe you, are, you just don't want to uh, continue with them but you have no other option you really really love your work i feel like gemini your work is going to be super
exposed um i want to expose like popular i would say like you're going to go to the next level with your work i also see some of you might be bored of doing the same old thing now you want some change gemini definitely a new love situation coming up in your life i feel like you've started you know focusing on self love more than this person because you've just you just done with you know uh changing this person and trying to make this person understand your emotions it's not working you're like i'm i'm done the gemini is playing smart and now they're done and now the gemini wants to just grow their business or grow their job career whatever you're doing you just want to be more productive at your work and not focus on this person because you're done you you failed um changing this person now they're never going to change so you understood that someone new coming in okay this person's actually going to be super obsessed with your um i don't know why i am saying communication your communication power is actually going to attract someone new has already attracted someone new you are you are stuck between two people i don't know the new person is also a little less than you and uh, but they are bringing you know a lot of emotional connect in this connection i feel like this person is you know um, coming with emotional connect as well okay aries sagittarius though i do see a new love offer coming in but they want to connect with you emotionally i feel like this person loves the fact that you're in love with yourself that you have yeah this is two people just not good for you i feel like you're dealing with two one is a past another one is a new but you just don't want to you know uh, open up to any of these two because they are selfish in their own ways but yes there is new love coming in and you're really protective about your personal life your money your business or whatever you're doing you don't want to open up to these people because I feel like there's some walls around you that you want to protect your you and your work from somewhere i feel like you're not satisfied with the offers that you're getting in love so you want separation you you and the separation is like making you feel like there's no love around like you're getting mixed feelings you're like no this is not what i want and whether if, if i don't stick to this then i have no other option i feel like you still want the past over the new one but then you know that nothing's going to work so why to waste my time and you know energy over these people so you're just simply focusing on letting everybody go to hell and focus on love for self so 6 of wands is like you becoming more and more popular because you started to fix your life yourself and not expecting someone else to fix it for you yeah i also see popularity growing like anything i feel like there's a new start in your career as well maybe some of you are changing something about your work and you are excited about this new opportunity and don't want to lose it because of these stupid people coming in and uh, trying to play a lover in your life so you're just simply excited about yourself and i feel like you're going out more or uh, you may be going out more and exploring more and i also see you doing swimming um or going to the beach you know stuff like that i don't know but i do see you taking a break and coming back even stronger yeah you might be interested in going on a vacation and then you know lift your mood but your work is going to be progressing seven of swords i feel like you're actually exuding a lot of confidence okay because the opposite sex would think 100 times before they would think 100 times before playing with your heart you're like come on come in i'll show you who i am so you have that skill of you know taking out the hidden uh, drama going on in this connection in, in, in any person you know what's going on behind the covers and you always take it out and these people are afraid of you scared of you because you're very really, really smart you're not someone that can be played with okay so you don't you're not 
you know you're not threatening but when these people they start taking you for granted there is a card that comes out where when you say that when you show them their true colors they get wet in their pants like in a way like they get scared you know their truth uh, when you expose them with their truth with the truth that's when they get scared and then they're like okay i cannot mess with this gemini that's what i feel i feel like right now you're just simply into money and all you're not focusing on love okay you just want to focus on money and uh, something you've started again i feel like when it comes to work a career you just want to do it again whatever it is queen of swords hmm you are going to be really tough catch for anyone coming into your life again i feel like you you're going to play it cool but when it comes to confrontation you'll be always ready to show anyone their true colors who they are what what they are doing so you're you're not going to let anyone play with you and you're very con told about this thought focusing on self but i do see options coming in that might be extremely attracted to you maybe this is this one person only or there are many people that are finding you extremely attractive but you're like okay don't waste my time i'm much above your league you're like that some of you are virgo person might be feeling secluded left out by you i do see like this person has been thinking a lot about you they're like why is this gemini too cold like can't they be just a little softer than you know softer so ah yeah you just want to be left alone you don't want to deal with this drama anymore but i do see you actually having a lot of options coming in and and you have got sorry you someone at the door Six of Pentacles is like money, 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 money. <laughs> I see like a lot of people are interested in your money, so you have to actually go through some, um, uh, some uh, fake ones to be with the new ones. So a little bit of burdening this has become, but you're like, okay, I have to do this. So what can one do? Queen of Pentacles, you're going towards massive success, Gemini. You're actually going to become a star. It requires you to stay persistent and a little more patient than you are. And I feel like there's a lot of uh, stuff that you're handling at the same time. And I feel like in the end, you're going to be super successful. So don't worry about relationships and all. Because when you have a lot of money, there's, there's an automatic charm and nobody can stay away from you, isn't it? The star is like you becoming really popular. I see your health is also getting better. um this could also be a message like you might need to focus more on your health because your uh, health is wealth so it's going to bring more wealth as you see something that might be related to your body that you should do to bring in more wealth some of you are into nutrition diet exercise you know if that is so then that will bring you a lot of fame and if you're doing something else then i feel like you need to be persistent about your health you might have to go for some gym and um some exercise routine will keep you uplifted okay skin of pentacles and the star is telling me a lot i feel like you're going to be growing like there's a lot of success massive success coming in uh friends are going to be supportive I feel like right now you just need to pay attention to the recent relationships or whatever is coming towards you because they might be more interested in your money so be careful it's like nobody it's it's not like anybody who comes across would be bad it's just you have to be careful about the red flags initial stages only if you see red flags back off true love yeah i do see a true lover is there but i don't know why they're going to be first be your friend and then true lover So yeah, true lover is around the corner. It's just that you need to first focus on your money. Right now, you don't know them. You haven't met this person. It will come, but not in February. New love, definitely. There's a new love around, 
and they'll take their own sweet time to reach out and i feel like this is the person that you will trust okay now i get it i feel like gemini is somewhere you have trust issues with whoever is coming into your life now and this is breaking your heart so the messages over here are you know talking out loud that have patience okay everything is going to work just have patience and trust in yourself till then you are headed towards making a name for yourself okay and i feel like right now whatever you have money wise is going to be double tripled later on so focus on it nurture see right now you really need to focus on your health nurturing yourself taking care of your body earlier waking up early in the morning and doing some exercises eating fresh fruits vegetables and feeling like you have to first feel amazing for yourself i see a lot of nature may heal you time to manifest what you want there's a lot of joy and stability if you just focus on self yeah right now you're just going to be all about yourself your confidence is going to be stronger massive and a lot of stability with work and money coming in new opportunity in love definitely there's new love around i do see that i do see it really strongly that there's new love around okay because i see a lot of options taking interest but then right now you might be going through some um, not so good options in the end you land up to the one that is meant for you nothing is yet set in stone nothing has been yet decided okay it could be anyone but it requires you to have patience gemini action so you have to stay action oriented because whatever you want you have to work on it it's not just like we could sit and dream about it we have to take action that's how things are going to manifest regret some sort of a regret might be happening with lover with a lover you don't you never wanted to be, have him or be with him in the first place and now you're regretting like why did i even trust this person so it's up to you to leave the situation and focus on the new um i do see major changes happening but first it's going to start off with money now let's see from aries to pisces your person how do they feel Aries highly attractive. Um, I feel like this person feels Aries is feeling like you're highly attractive. Many people feel you're super attractive. I feel like there's a lot of attraction, but the emotional part is game changer. That's gonna take time. Taurus is wanting uh, to know you more. I feel like this person feels like you're such a fair and sincere person, so they want to know you more. Gemini is ending this. I feel like it's you ending the situation with a Scorpio, maybe. Okay, and you're done. Like, um, I'm not interested anymore. I'm done. Cancer. Cancer highly attracted to you. This person is quite good looking. I feel like this would be a, another player coming in. Leo is making a move towards you. I feel like this person wants to come towards you with some sort of an excuse, like work excuse. But I do see this can grow. Virgo. Virgo is actually. I don't know why I heard sugar daddy for some of you but uh, if this is an ordinary person and I feel like this person would be offering you marriage or something like that Libra Libra is actually uh, hiding a lot of things um, I feel like this person is a mystery so they'll reveal themselves right now they're confused Scorpio actually is seeing you as someone who's special who's like a star and like they feel like you're much above their league and this you're such a special person and they also find you spiritual sagittarius uh highly attracted to you maybe stalking in spying capricorn is obsessing over you i feel like this is a narcissist like always blaming you for their own good aquarius finding you extremely good looking attractive to you finds you extremely beautiful or handsome and i do see them bringing an offer towards you pisces wants to i feel like the pisces wants to give you a, some sort of a commitment like a new start new beginning they want to talk to you they want to communicate with you so there's a possible proposal coming in from uh, pisces 
that's about it gemini i hope this reading has helped you do not forget to like share subscribe and hit the bell and comment down below let me know how this resonated follow me on instagram bye